Manipur as a state is rich in its traditions of culture, dance, music, arts and sports. Manipur also has unique ecological features which distinguishes it from other states. It has many tourist attractions to offer from historical, scenic and socio-cultural point of view. Its strategic location on the trade route to Southeast Asia adds to its importance. Dances and music are a way of life for the people of Manipur. Dances are associated with deities and festivals and are performed in temples accompanied by vocal music and instruments. Pong Cholam is a unique classical dance with the soul of Sankirtana music and dance traditions. The dancers play the pung, which is the drum, while dancing. The dance is marked by a gentle rhythm, which gradually builds up to vigorous movements. Ras Leela, the epitome of Manipuri dance form, is performed depicting scenes of the Ras Leela of Radha and Krishna. It is performed in a group of Krishna, Radha and Radha's friends, called the Sakhis. The intricate and stylish form of movements has led this dance form to be recognized as one of the classical dances of India. of Manipur are naturally gifted singers. Pena is the oldest folk instrument of Manipur, occupying a place of pride in the cultural and religious lives of the Maitais since time immemorial. This music instrument is considered to be sacred by the Maitais. The state has a rich tradition of folk music too. It is also notable that people are trying to preserve folk music and dances by teaching and learning these art forms through formal training, gurus and mohalla or laikai associations. Ratan Thiam is an internationally renowned dramatist who has established Manipur on the drama map of India and abroad. Thiam is a multifaceted artist. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1989. He founded the Chorus Repertory Theatre in Imphal in 1976, which has been home to some of his reputed theatre shows. I was born and brought up in costume boxes. I played behind the 
wings when my parents were dancing on stage. That was my childhood and I became a boy where he was always surrounded by art and culture. My first thing which I determined was that I will become a professional theater man. And that's how this repertory, the chorus repertory theater was established in the year 1976. A visit to Manipur will remain incomplete without a visit to the RKCS Art Gallery. Situated in the heart of the city of Imphal, the gallery presents a view of art and paintings by late Sri Rajkumar Chandrajit Sana Singh, popularly known as RKCS, and his son Sri RK Buddhimanta Singh, who is carrying forward the legacy of his father. Sri Buddhi himself is an extremely talented artist. The paintings display the traditional dances, weddings, rituals, amongst other things. A series of paintings depict the events of history as well as mythology of Manipur. A visit to this gallery is enlightening and educative about the rich traditions of creative art in Manipur. Manipur is well known for its handloom products and has the highest concentration of handloom weavers in the country. The industry owes its origin to the weaving traditions followed by diverse ethnic groups in the state. Manipur is a land of varied ethnic groups, each characterized by unique cultures and traditions. Sagai hai badi kamai gonmai koi ge mai tai ge hara ga sagai hai bhi wani akoi ge kabui ge hara na na asina akoi ge any pakhang digi na hau na nipa mayum pan ba phau ba moflar se hab nai ahan oira ga di akoi ge angau ba amalai. Besides traditional clothes, they also weave and produce bed sheets and saris, which are woven on a loin loom. Sericulture and production of silk cloth is an extremely important economic activity of Manipuri women. The production of silk is largely confined in the plains of Manipur and weaving is mainly done by female weavers. As these products are mainly woven in Wangkai area of Imphal, they are also known as Wangkai P and have been given geographical indication. Chunkam Rani Devi, a master weaver, has an iconic status in the handloom industry of the state. Her contribution to the field of handloom industry has been well recognized as all good quality silk in Manipur has come to be known as the Rani P. In course of time, 
she became legendary because the good quality product came to be known as Rani product or Rani Phee. So, she herself became a brand name in Manipur. Adhanagi shum phee saabha shi ni ima rani ki matung inda na phee saabha khakta na tana khoi color daing dao ba silk cotton jing ji fast color da daing dao ba si ima ki rani ki matung ila ka dum yao rae. Iske upar jo design aya hua hai, chab haa cha banaya gaya hai. Haa cha banaya nimi to jada time lag jata hai. Or iske upar jo yaha ka jada traditional design hai, hum isko moirang phee design kiya te. Isi ke bachye se bhi banaya nimi utna jaldi nahi bana paate. Yeh banaya nimi to do mahine lag jata hai. Jo yaha ka jo phee ke te, ये ज्यादातर ये वाला जो कमर का लुम होता है उसमें बनते हैं लोयलो में बनते हैं द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज अ सेपरेट हैंडलूम एंड हैंडीक्राफ्ट डिपार्टमेंट टू लुक आफ्टर द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ वीवर्स एंड प्रोवाइड देम असिस्टेंस द गवर्नमेंट हैज आल्सो टेकन स्टेप्स टू मैकेनाइज द हैंडलूम इंडस्ट्री थ्रू पावर लूम्स which help in increasing production and maintain quality. Here we have the facility of twisting uh, raw silk into twisted silk gun which can be readily used for weaving purpose. And we have the production capacity of up to 10 kg of 2022 silk yarns per day. Horticulture is another important economic activity which has a high potential of generating revenue for the state and its farmers. Livelihood of the people in the rural areas, particularly in some districts close to Imphal, is getting affected in a very positive way by this transformation in the horticulture sector. If we can take this transformation to the mountains, it will be a wonderful thing. Unless we are able to do that, we won't be able to stop the kind of deforestation which is happening in the mountains of Manipur. The modern game of polo is adapted from the traditional Manipuri sport, Sagol Kangjai. The game has originated from Manipur and is played in both the old Manipuri style, Pana, and the new style, Polo. In the past, the game had the support of rulers and nobles. Manipuri polo is played with seven players on each side who mount and ride ponies about four to five feet in height. The British learnt the game of Sagol Kanjai in the 19th century from Manipur. After certain modifications, the game was reinvented as polo and played in other parts of the globe. Every year, an international polo tournament is organized in November in Imphal. Polo in Manipur began somewhere in 3200 BC during the reign of King Kangba. That is the tradition of polo in Manipur. In 1852, when the British soldiers saw Manipuri polo players playing polo in the Kasar district of Assam. Polo in Manipur is associated with the culture and history of the people themselves. Manipur has made a name for itself in the field of sports owing to the outstanding achievements of its sportspersons. Manipur's presence has remained strong in men's hockey and in track and field games, Manipur has always managed to display spectacular performance in all national and international tournaments. Manipur has shown exemplary talent in boxing as well. Mary Kom, one of the brightest stars, being an Olympics bronze medalist and a six times world champion, hails from Manipur. A visit to Kuman Lampak Sports Complex under Sports Authority of India gives a sense of deep commitment of the people and importance of sports in the state.
every community, every locality in Manipur has an inherent culture where we encourage our children to play sports. We belong to a martial race. Manipur has come a long way, has given a lot of young children to the growth of our national sports. Loktak Lake of Manipur is the largest freshwater lake in Northeast India. The lake is a major tourist attraction for visitors to Manipur. It also sustains livelihoods and agriculture for communities living around it. The biggest island is located at Sendra, from where people can get a beautiful view of the lake and the Pumdi, the floating masses of water hyacinth. Fishermen and their families live on these floating masses to earn their livelihoods. Many legends are associated with the lake, the most popular one being an epic tale of the love of Kamba, an orphan child of a nobleman, and Thoibi, a princess. On the southernmost corner of the Loktak Lake is the Kaibul Lamjao National Park. Situated in an area of 40 square kilometers, the National Park is the last refuge of the endangered Sangai or the brow antlered deer. The state animal which is also the logo of Manipur tourism. The Sangai is endangered and had become almost extinct. Now they are being preserved and their numbers are growing. This national park is the only floating national park in the world and whatever you are seeing both sides of me, it is the floating meadows of grasslands called Fumdi. Loktak Lake is one of the only lake where the Fumdi formation happens. It is mainly because it is in the valley of Manipur which is surrounded by hills by four sides and the meaning of Loktak itself says that the all the streams, lock means the streams and tak means it end, ends up. So all the streams end, ends up in lock tak. So the water coming from all the lakes carry a lot of nutrients and it will be in the lock tak lake. It contains strips of straight lines where the tall grasses have been removed to protect it from fire. Bazaar, an all-women's market with approximately 3,000 imas or mothers seated inside is one of the most unique features of the state. Here, only women shopkeepers are allowed to sell their products. It is a large and crowded market that is split into three sections in the city of Imphal. The Ima Khaitel displays women empowerment in its raw form. It symbolizes power 
also because it is situated at the same place where the historical Nupi Lan took place. Men are not allowed to uh, sell anything here and uh, women from all over the state, they all come here for business purposes. They exchange, they buy, they sell and this is a hub of Manipur. Manipuri women have a lot of social spaces, public spaces uh, in the society. Interestingly, I'll tell you that here is the only place in the world where the property goes from mother-in-law to the daughter-in-law. And this is one of its kind uh, in the whole world. Established in 1980, Manipur University is now a central university. It also acts as a governing body of the colleges in the state. The university has a sprawling campus at Kanchipur near Imphal. High Court of Manipur came into existence in 2013. Earlier, the Imphal bench of Guwahati High Court served the state ever since Manipur attained statehood in 1972. Manipur has a legislative assembly with 60 members since it became a state in 1972. Located at a distance of 109 kilometers from Imphal, Moray is the last town of Manipur bordering Myanmar along the National Highway 39. It has traditionally been the entry and transit point on the way to Myanmar with which Manipur has had deep historical and trade relations. Besides being an important centre of the flourishing Indo-Myanmar trade, Moray is a tourist centre as well. I have now the lecture from the Indo-Myanmar border gate manak the lecture bani. My phone message is that the whole guy na gateway to Southeast Asian nation. Hey, do nangasi ba khangne ragalakni. We see lot of uh, people coming across this border. They are not entering into Indian border and they are not allowed to enter into India. However, they are using this Indian border road and they will again enter into Myanmar border. So they have been using this road for their short transportation. So therefore, this uh, place is a very important place for both the people living between the borders. The state of Manipur is distinguished by its rich tradition of culture, arts and crafts. The diversity of its tourist spots in terms of historical and ecological significance makes it unique among the states of Northeast. Owing to its location, it is India's gateway to Southeast Asia.